Hey, I forgot to buy milk for the cats by the bar. Hmm. A hundred more for a bottle of white liquid. Ah. This channel is filled with random stuff anyway, so I thought why not answer one simple question. How much does one mora cost in real life? The simplest way to do that is to take the price of an item here in Genshin Impact, compare it to the real life version, and through the art of math, find the value of one mora in terms of our real life currency. I happened to choose these onions, and decided to compare any items from Genshin Impact with the most generally accepted prices, meaning prices sold in supermarkets where most people give their patronage in. So, now to determine which onion to compare this to, well, since it is reddish purplish in coloration, and I'm pretty sure the game is meant for these onions to be the most common ones that we use in real life too, which happens to be a loose red onion. This is actually the only price tag that specifically sells you one separate onion, with most others selling them by weight. Now if you want to get particular, you could argue the fact that we can't compare the prices this way, because we don't know their weight, size, type, or whatever class means for onions. Is that like a hero ranking but for onions? It is impossible to know exactly the details of this onion, which is why for these situations, the best I can do is compare it to the most similar thing or what Mihoyo logically referred to with their items in Genshin. Within for Fantesco, we know that one loose red onion is 0.29 US dollars. Also US dollars will be the currency I'm using for this video. Since one onion is also 80 mora, you can say that 80 mora is 0.29 dollars. Which means one mora is 0.0036 dollars. And with that, you think the problem is solved. One mora is equal to 0.0036 dollars. Hooray! I have to tell every single Oni Jensen Mons that, well, shit. If we were to accept the exchange rate of one mora to 0.0036 dollars, that means we can easily identify the real life pricing of every other items in Genshin. That means that this sword, a literal monster killing weapon that people bring to war, will be at a grand price of $2.19, equivalent to 600 boros. You're telling me I can buy a murder weapon for less than $3? Yo, that's way cheaper than the bombs I used to terrorize citizens with. Can I get 50 of these? And now we hit our first wall. I'm going to be hitting a lot of walls, trust me. We have to find the best exchange rate that will fit the world of Genshin Impact without drastically making any items too expensive or too cheap. And there is a way to do that. We just found the exchange rate of Mora's $2 with onions. If we can do the same to every other item in Genshin Impact, we can add all of them up and divide the number with the amount of items and get the average. This average is found with every single item, meaning we can use this number to find a real life price of any Genshin Impact item and obtain the closest price you can possibly find without needing to do extensive research on each item. To put it simply, I need to find a real life pricing for every single purchasable item in Genshin Impact, which is like over 100 of them, for this one video that nobody really cares about. My sanity is fading! And 26 word pages later, I found the real life price of every single Genshin Impact item and calculated the exchange rate for each of them. Well, not all of them. I've excluded some stuff that are literally impossible to pinpoint their IRL price like Pop's tea. Like, I'm meant to know what Pop put in his tea, or whatever whatever blueprints, or unknown bird eggs, or special books. It is also worth noting that I did not find the prices of the items exchangeable for these insignia thing, since they don't exist IRL, and it's kinda like just another currency that you exchange with more us in-game anyway. But otherwise, I've basically found all real life prices for every flower, every dish, every weapon, and every animal, and all of the exchange rate divide them, and I got the grand number, the final answer to how much does one mora worth in real life, and it is 0.08 dollars. Can I just say I'm very proud of myself having almost failed calculus? You can also say I'm probably wrong somewhere, but if you have the heart of steel, go ahead and give my research paper a check. I'll have to link to the description. I dare you. So one mora is equal to 0.08 dollars, or this number to be exact. But let's just take the 0.08. This will help us answer one important question, a question that had been haunting me, my dog, and the whole world. How much does this bottle of milk cost? A bottle of milk in Genshin Impact is 100 moras, which means 8 dollars. So what in tarnation? This bottle of white liquid is $8. Now in real life, $8 can fetch you probably 2 gallons of milk which looks something like this, so what? This also means silver sword, a murder weapon, is $48. 
which is around the price of a recreated silver sword from The Witcher. So basically, a decorative toy story. Fisherman's Toast! This darn bread is $82! A sausage! Something they would gladly eat while she holds my hand through the streets of Mondstadt is $67.2. So if in the future I have one kid and he wants to eat sausage every week, I'll probably get broke in the first day. Now, 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 don't worry. I've worked out a logically feasible theory for all of this. Now, Silver Sword is made out of silver alloy as said in the very description of Genshin, with the abundance of silver in Genshin proving to be a lot more common than in real life. Given the respawns every three days, its price will be very low, which explains how a silver sword would cost $48. Sausage is made out of three raw meat, and one raw meat is 240 moros, meaning 19 dollars and 20 cents and just so happens a strip steak is 19 dollars and 19 cents so that means this sausage this sausage that i happily feed clean with as we holds my hand while we walk through Mondstadt, is a strip steak sausage there's also another theory where farms doesn't exist in genshin haven't you wondered why are there not a single farm even villages where they rare animals to sell. People in Genshin simply haven't revolutionized to that point. I mean, I don't blame them. Without God being someone like Venti, every female looking like a Vogue model, every male looks like Kirito with a different hair, they'd be distracted. Very, very distracted. Since there aren't any abundance of live produce, meat prices would be determined by the individuals that probably decided to sell their pet board called Benjamin or something, which will be effectively drove up since they are the monopoly. This causes the sausage price to go up proportionally to the meat prices. This basically means if you want to be rich and get an impact, rare boars. And finally, milk. The only reason for this bottle of milk to be that expensive with considerably little volume is that this milk is actually Coco Goat Milk! So as a conclusion, I deduce that one Mora is equivalent to $0.08 in real life. And the way I found that out is by comparing every single Genshin item to its real life counterpart and get the average exchange rate. Now I do have my whole file thing in the description, you can check it out. There might be some errors in a couple of more items that I simply couldn't find its real life pricing of, like Electro Crystal and stuff. But as far as I know, this is the closest anyone has ever came to determining the exchange rate of moras to dollars. I hope you enjoyed. If you have your own ideas, be sure to comment and let me know. And that's it. Take care.